Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Penguin West, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to make your own trifold wallet out of duct tape. This one is a bit longer than I usually make it because I did add two extra card pockets, but I will show you how to do it with the extra room and without. So, this wallet has six card pockets, one hidden, and a clear. So, let's get started. First, you're going to need an exacto knife, a pair of scissors, two rolls of duct tape, a cutting surface, and a ruler. So we're first going to lay out five pieces of tape that are 10 inches long. So now you are just going to peel up that whole sheet. And I did lose a piece so I just stuck it back on. And then you're going to take five pieces of tape that are 11 inches long. And you are just going to stick those straight on top. And we do want to overlap it a little bit so that there is a nice rim on the outside as well as to close the bifold together. So now we're going to peel up the entire thing. And you're simply going to fold over the pieces on the top and the bottom for a border because the pattern tape is going to be on the inside and the pink is going to be on the outside. Do this on the top and bottom. Now we're just going to clear tape the inside and when clear taping the inside I don't make it too perfect as long as there are no seams poking out so that the money and cards slip in very easily. Now you're going to cut the sticky tape on the sides to make it even and straight and then fold your billfold over just like this to create a perfect billfold. And then if there is still any uneven tape on the sides, you may go ahead and cut that now. Now I'm going to clear tape the outside and for this I want the clear tape to be as invisible as possible so I just lay down a piece of tape and before I press it down I just take my exacto knife and rub it back and forth to smooth out all of the air bubbles. Next I am just cutting a little square in the corner of the clear tape so that the tape can easily fold over without it wrinkling or sticking to anything else. So now we have the entire first billfold and now we are just going to go ahead and now that the clear tape is completely finished, we are just going to fold it into thirds. So since mine is about 11 inches long, I am about in between three and a quarter and three and a half and I just fold that into three even pieces to make it a perfect trifold. And I did not press it yet, this is just so I know where to put the card. I'm going to be taking a four and one half of a strip and I am going to have these, they're going to be three inches long, I'm going to build them down. So as you can see, I first put down three pieces of tape slightly overlapping each other each time and then I needed slightly a little bit more room but I didn't want too much room so that it would fit nicely on my wallet so I just got a half piece to finish it off and since these sides were uneven, I then cut the excess tape. And because I did leave a little bit of stickiness on the bottom intentionally, I just stuck that down onto the wallet. 
and then obviously I do want it to blend in because this is going to be the hidden pocket. So after making sure that the card would nicely fit so it was nicely hidden, I then took some clear tape and clear taped the card pocket and at the same time I stuck it down using the clear tape. You're going to be sticking down three of the sides. The one on the top, the one on the right, and the one on the bottom. The side on the left is going to stay open, so if there is any clear tape left over, you are just going to fold it over. And I took a strip of clear tape to make the edge rounded so it was just more smooth and less jaggedy. So then I just continued putting down and clear taping the rest of the pocket. So next, I took four strips of clear tape that were four inches long, and I did the overlapping method once again, so slightly overlapping, leaving a little bit of clear tape left over. And then I trimmed the excess, and this is going to be the ID slot, so make sure that it fits on the hidden pocket, and then tape it down using some pink tape. So for the ID, you are as well going to have three sealed sides and one open side, and the open side is going to be the one on the top. So you're going to seal the left, right, and bottom side. Now you're going to take three pieces of tape that, th that are three and three fourths of an inch long and once again overlapping so leaving a little bit of stickiness on the bottom then going sticky to sticky and then you should have a little bit of stickiness left on the bottom and you're going to use that to stick it down onto the wallet. Then you're going to take two strips of tape that are four inches long and you're going to find the middle which should be about one inch and two inches in. And then you're going to mark that area and draw a line into the center from the corner. It's very confusing, so just really be sure to carefully watch what I'm doing. But you're going to make a V-shaped cutout using your X-Acto knife, and it should look something like this. And you are then going to take your second piece of tape and you're just going to stick that down. So as you can see, one of them is not cut out. But we are then going to just cut a slit down the middle and then fold these sides down so there's a rounded edge. If you would like a more full tutorial, I do have a tutorial on how to make this. So just check out the link in the description box below. But you're going to make two of those that cut any of the excess on these sides. And then you're going to cut one piece of tape that is four inches long and you're going to horizontally cut it in half. And you're just going to cut out those pieces of tape in half and then you are just going to stick down the two remaining sides as you can see I am doing in the video. And you are then going to use these two pieces of tape to stick down the sides of your card pockets which as you can see I aligned and you're going to stick down the bottom using two of the pieces and then you are going to cut out more pieces of tape and So you are now going to cut out little slits on the sides of the pockets and this is because some of the tape did cover up the pockets so you need to cut the little slits so that your cards can easily slide in and fit in your card pockets. 
that is it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you never miss any of my videos. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did want to make it with fewer pockets, then you only had to make it about 10 inches long. I could cut out a little bit just so that there wasn't so much extra room. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.